I'm just gonna go over my nightly routine with how I normally, um, how I normally put, cover my hair at night and put it up so that I can achieve like some body wave curls kind of. Um, it's very simple. So the first thing is I invested in a curl band. I want to say it was maybe 20 bucks. Um, you've probably seen videos for it on YouTube, on uh, Facebook. You've seen the advertisements, Instagrams. But this thing really does, like if you don't like a whole bunch of flexi rods, you don't like sleeping with something here at night, this the curl band is the truth. I also use about three of the large size. Uh, Again, these are the same bundles from my previous video that um, I got from AliExpress. They are inches 26, 24, 22, 20. And this is a uh, 14 inch closure from Uncut in Augusta, Georgia um, because I didn't trust getting a closure off AliExpress. Uh, what you will need for this tutorial, the first thing I use to get this these heatless bouncy curls are a curl band. Curlband.com. 20 bucks. Curl band. I also use about three of the large flexi rods. Um, just three, maybe two. Um, that's it. I also use a paddle brush, just a regular. Put that much product on my hair, but because I didn't um, properly maintain it last night and it looks a little bit dull, I will be using Cantu Shea Butter Wave Whip Curling Mousse. Um, and I'll just be applying that through my ends, really probably not up here, but really on my ends where it looks dry. Using my paddle brush to brush it through. Then I will show you guys how I apply the curl band and the flexi rods. Again, heatless, no wave curls. Very simple. All right, so now that we got it all brushed out and I look partially loved, um, I basically sectioned it into two parts so that the hair is either on both sides. And we take the curl band. So basically it's like two sponges and this is the middle part. You take the middle part, apply it against your forehead and you wrap it around and the ends have little clasps on them and you snip it. Now this side is gonna hang for the beginning part. So it'll be just hanging. So with the curl band, you wanna make sure that everything is, you know, just laying evenly. There's no bunches, no waste. For actually getting it to twist is, well to curl is very simple. You grab a section of your hair, it depends how, I like my curls closer to my face to be a little bit defined because those are gonna be the ones that I manipulate the most. Um, so they'll lose some of their curl. So I'll start with smaller sections and then the sections will get bigger, of course, because there's gonna be more hair. So you lift the hair up, tuck it under the curl band and pull it under. That's how you're getting your curl. It's really that simple. So of course you go to the next step, the next piece and you're gonna do the same thing and of course the trick is to make sure like you don't get anything bunched up and that you continue to um, just take the sections and up and under I have longer bundles like I said my longest bundle is about 28 inches um, when I get to the back I try to get as much as I can on the curl band, but usually once I get to the back, I kind of run out of space. Also guys, make sure that you're pulling it tight so that you may have to rebrush it as you're going because you're manipulating the hair. So that's something to expect. Um, and it is fine if they like overlap each other because again, once you take it down, it's all gonna be curly anyway. 
to me, I like sleeping with this a little bit better. Um, I had to learn not to clasp it so, so tight, um, but I like sleeping with this better than a whole bunch of flexi rods because, you know, sometimes they get uncomfortable. So at this point, we've gotten all this side tucked in um, and just make sure that they stay secure because sometimes if you're pulling on the band, this can pop and all this will come unraveled. It happens to me on a plenty of nights. Um, but the piece that was previously hanging, this is now going to be the piece that this ear is going to be wrapped around. Uh, so there is a clasp at the end and you bring it around on top of this side which kind of secures that in and you clip it so now you have this side to curl this here on there and like i said because of the hair being a little bit longer i'm trying to run out of space on the curl band which is why i have those additional flexi rods to um curl the rest in the back, but it's not as excessive to have us having a whole entire. Here we are at the end, and we have about this much hair left just in the back where um, I kind of run out of space on the curl band. Now, I have seen people on the curl band. I've watched multiple tutorials of people on the curl band um, website who have had long hair and they're still able to achieve it. I can't. I don't know what my malfunction is. It just doesn't work for me. So, with this last little bit of hair in the back, like I said, I get some flexi rods. I section it to about three, and I just twist it, and then I roll. Alright guys, so I end up adding an extra flexi rod, a smaller one, just to so my bang is kind of defined. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the outcome once I've slept on it all night. You can see it kind of drooped a little bit. Could be a wild sleeper. But I'm going to go ahead and take